All right, so uh, I fixed my OBS, I think. So this recording should go a little smoother. Uh, but I decided, you know, it's because uh, my recording went uh, sideways yesterday. I'll just make an entire skip video instead of a uh, uh, a breach video. So <laughs> let's start with breaching though. So if you want to learn how to breach properly, you just have to position your sparrow correctly and then you have to aim your camera at the right place. So to position your sparrow correctly, I back it up into this corner and then I look to the right and then I look to the left and then I turn my camera until I can see the inside of my head and I'm looking at this kind of plants right here. So I go like this and then I jump and spam A. So I spam left, uh, yeah, I spam left. So I just go like this. Oh, is my sparrow in the right place? I in the right place. Okay, there we go. All right, just like that. Sometimes it sends you down very fast, but uh, you can remedy that by just spare flying. So let's do it uh, like one more time. Go right, go left, just like that. Okay, so once you get down here, I like to spare fly here. Okay, um, yeah, let's just make this like a whole guide on how to uh, do this properly. So I'm gonna sit here. So right here, there's a death barrier uh in kind of a rectangle here so if you go forward here you die um so the way to get around the death barrier is you i would go through this gap here and that will allow you to go over there which is typically where people go for skip so i'll show you that route and then i'll show you the flawless route um i would probably wouldn't do the flawless route in actual runs uh unless you're doing like duo or something uh but otherwise you know just take the normal route so yeah let's start going in that direction Right, and there's no death barrier here. You can kind of just keep going forward. Right, you're not gonna normally have a sword, but I'll just use the sword. But yeah, some people like to stop over here on this rock. It's not really necessary, but uh, some people like to do it. Uh, what I would do though, is I would just keep sparrow flying up until you reach this area right over here. So I'll try to show you what I mean. So you see how there's like a, like a square, white square. You want to basically be above this line and you want to just go forward that way if you go too far to the right there's a death barrier if you go too far to the left there's a death barrier if you go down too far there's a death barrier so right here is like a really good place to be so let me just do this and uh you can just spare a fly sideways here and you should be fine all right just keep going this way and then eventually you'll hit the load zone which is here and then uh, i'm gonna just sit here so there's two load zones here, right? There's the trial of Caber, and then there's the entrance load zone. Um, so some people, what they do is they hit this load zone and then they just drop and die. And the default spawn for this load zone is like halfway into Vogue, but you can't summon your Sparrow. So if you want to summon your Sparrow, you back load. So you go back into that load uh, and you want to die before your feet touch the ground for too long. So the start of that load zone is like right here. So what I do is I sparrow fly and then I hit this load and then I turn around and then I Icarus dash back into the other load and there's a death barrier right here. So just like that, I'm back in waking ruins, which is the entrance load. And if I respawn, I'm right here and I can pull up my sparrow and you know, we can go down over there. Okay. Uh, and then I'll just briefly talk about this. I'll show you the flawless route and then, um, and then that's it. So once you get your sparrow, and then if you do flawless route, you can al you also get your sparrow. Um, shout out to Flame for the uh, flawless routing. But yeah, you can bring your sparrow, right? Uh, I'll just leave my sparrow, and uh, I'll show you like a little bounce you can do to get to uh, conflexes faster. So you can just jump off here and bounce off of that, and it'll send you in that direction. Uh, there's probably a better object you can bounce off of, but I usually use this one. So just go here. And you no, know, pretty straightforward. And you just make it here so you don't have to go all the way around in case you're like a little bit late or someone's slow on breach. And then um, I'll also show you the uh, the flawless routing. So all of this, of course, works uh, without a sword. Uh, it's just slower. I do this uh, in my team without he rises without a sword. It's just a little bit slow, but uh, gets the job done. Very consistent. So let's take a look here. So 
So Flawless Era is pretty cool, uh, but you do need to like navigate the death barriers a little bit. So have to be kind of careful. You're basically going in between a pushback and a death barrier, which is uh, not ideal, but um, I'll show you how it's done. Right. So I'm gonna make your way to the breach again and back up, right, left, look up, boom. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the normal route. So we're gonna go this way. And instead of going in that direction, we're going to go this way. We're gonna go upward here, right? And we're gonna go there. So. Okay, I wanna hit the rock. But I'm gonna go over here. You can take a break on the rock here if you want. I don't really need to. So, I'm gonna keep making our way this way. And our goal is to land um, right like there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, I'm gonna land right here. And then you're gonna drop down and you want to land right here. Okay, if you land on the left side of the rock, you're gonna hit the load zone. So, you wanna land on the right side of this rock. And you wanna summon your sparrow and dodge left. And then, boom. That's it. That's ball is starting. All right. Well, um, best of luck to you, all you people that run Vogue, you delectable people.